this smells like like Earth, which is pretty much what it is. St. Thomas biology professor Chester Wilson gets his hands dirty in the Owen Science Hall greenhouse, turning coffee grounds into compost gold since the late 1990s. It takes the worms about a month to six weeks to eat through the coffee that we put in one of these trays. What they leave behind is anything, isn't anything at all like coffee anymore. It's very loose, it makes for a good, very nutritious medium for plants to grow in. Wilson says thanks to the green team, composting at St. Thomas is becoming a growing initiative. Here on campus, we produce a fair amount of organic waste, most of it from the dining halls and things like that. Green team member Junior Elizabeth File is looking to triple the efforts of Wilson's compost initiative with help from a campus sustainability fund. With this new grant proposal, we would include the coffee grounds from the Coffee Bene Library and from the loft in Anderson Student Center, and then hopefully some fruit from the Anderson Student Center as well. Fellow team member Senior Quinn Renholt is ready to see the effect this initiative will have on the St. Thomas community. Composting is a great way and a relatively easy way to kind of reconnect with the food system and really understand the implications of things like what you eat and what you do with your waste and how that affects the earth. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Emily Dehart.